All right, Corey. So we're going to talk about shh, 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 shh. we're going to talk about recursive formulas, which are next now statements. And again, these are really, really simple. So a recursive formula or a next now statement. These are both the same things. You're going to write literally next equals now. You're either going to have plus or minus. It depends on what your slope is. So I'm going to write plus and minus here. Your slope. And then you're going to write the words start at and whatever your y intercept is. Question. So if it's a positive slope, you'll do plus your slope. If it's a negative slope, it'll be minus your slope. And those are the two things that you're going to change. Those are changing into numbers. Okay. They're really, really simple. So again, if you see the words recursive formula, that just means next now. All right, so look at your first table. It says, how much does the population on average, so we see the word average increase, so we're looking for the slope. So you can pick two of these points. You don't have to do all of them. So remember to find slope. We do y minus y over x minus x, but if we're in a table, we're doing the change in y over the change in x is the exact same thing we did yesterday. So nothing new. What do you mean? You just like this. You're just uh, finding out how much difference it is. So look at the bottom. Remember the bottom is Y and the top is X. How do I get from 8.2 to 8.7? What kind of five? But not five, point five, right? No worries. On the bottom, what was your change in X? How do I get from 2000 to 2002? Uh-huh. So I'm going to put it on the bottom. And then I'm going to use my calculator. 0.5 divided by 2 gives me 0.25. Or if I do math, enter, enter, one-fourth. I don't care. Remember, I don't care which one you give me if you're working on EDIA, which you are not today. But if you were working on EDA, you could put in either one, okay? The only fraction you can, or the only decimal you can't put in is if it's like 0 0.33333. 3, 3. We got to change that. This decimal would be okay. All right. In what year did our information start? What year did our information start? So what year did our chart start? 2000. All right, so this is not our y-intercept. Remember, our y-intercept is wherever it starts, which is 8.2. Years make it a little different. We'll talk about those later on. But when we're talking about years, your chart is probably going to start with that, okay? So again, any other time we want zero. All right, so we're going to write an equation. I'm going to skip part C for just a minute so I can show you exactly what it looks like. Remember, we want y equals mx plus b. What slope did we find? Mm -hmm. So remember, this was your M, so 1 fourth X. And where did our chart start? Not at 2000, but what is the value? 8.2. Okay. This is how easy next nails are. Okay, your homework is a piece of cake. All right, your homework is a piece of cake. 
The hardest ones are the last, I think there's two of them that have the charts. You just gotta watch your y-intercept, okay? So we're gonna go over charts a couple of times. So this is how you write it, exactly like it is in your notes. Next equals now. What was our slope? What was, it, what was our slope? Oh, one, over four. one over four. Matthew's having some trouble. Miss Jones, mm -hmm. um, it froze. I think you're just going to have to wait. That's all I can tell you. Uh, okay. Is yours looking okay? I was going to say Yeah, it's Okay. So they sent out an email that there's some people having yeah, internet trouble, so it could be weird. All right, so what was our slope? I'm sorry, y'all. Oh, one over four, is it positive or negative? So we do next equals now plus one fourth because it's positive. And then start at, what was our Y intercept? That's it, that's how you write a next now. So again, you just put in the numbers, no X's, you just put in the numbers. I'm gonna skip part E for a minute. We're gonna work on next nows and we'll probably come back to part E, okay? Yes. If it's a chart that looks like this, it'll look like that. Y will be on the right, okay? So if they give you an up down chart, Y is always on the right, okay? So same thing, that's what she just asked. Why will always be on the bottom. That is the we truth. The I'm not going to do it yet. We'll get there. We don't need it right now. Okay. So how much does the price increase? Remember, we have to find our slope. Hold on. Corbin said we're going up by 150 or 1.5. You can do either one. It doesn't matter. If you do the 50, that's fine. What about your X? It's going up by two. We're going to put that in our calculator. And we get 0.75 or if we put it in fraction form, three fourths. I do not care if you give me decimal or fraction, okay? You, you decide. What is the cost of zero throws? This is so we can get our y-intercept. Remember what I told you? We want to look for zero in our chart yesterday. So we did plus two going this way. So we're going to minus two to get to our zero. Minus 150 to get here, which actually gives us so zero. zero. Uh-huh. Now you can have a flat fee, not on this, because this game usually doesn't have it. But like if you get in a taxi, they already charge you something before you go miles. So all right, so write a next now statement. I'm gonna write the equation first. Okay, here's your equation. Y equals what's your slope? Mm -hmm. Three fourths X. And then we had plus zero. And remember, if we're doing EDA, they don't like you to put that plus zero on there. But I'm going to leave it there for just a minute, okay? Either way you give it to me will be perfect today, okay? I think you have multiple choice today, so it's not going to matter anyway. Just like yesterday, it's going to be on Canvas. So next equals now. Remember, we put in our slope. So what was our slope? It's a positive three fourths. We do plus three fourths. And then we start at what was our y intercept? Nope, what was our y intercept? Zero. And again, we'll do part, it should be part E, but we'll do it in a minute. Okay. It's okay. You okay? Let's go. Plug it up. Uh, put it in the charger. 
Yep. All right, next one. So what's happening each time? If we're not sure, find one that we are sure about. Maybe this one would help. 7,250 to 7,100. If you don't get that, 7,250 minus 7,100 gives us 150. And we're going down, so that's why it's negative. What about your years? Uh, one, right? You're doing fine. You're doing fine. So it'd be, it'd be my negative 150 over x. Uh-huh. Change in y over the change in x is negative 150 over 1, which is just negative 150. Again, where did we start? Remember, if we have years, we're just going to start with the first one. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to write my equation. Y equals, what was my slope? What kind of 150? Negative 150X. And I started with a positive 7,700. Next equals now is the same numbers in the same order. Next equals now. What was my slope? So we do minus 150. Start at 7,700. Okay, we're gonna keep going. Again, I'm gonna come back to these predictions. Don't worry about those just yet. I want you to get the next now down and then we'll come back and do predictions. The only time you're doing predictions are on the last two charts that I told you about. I think it's the last two. All right. So we need to figure out our slope. So the best way to do this, like I said, is subtract at 525. Minus 375 gives us 150. From 375 to 525 is an increase or plus 150. On the top, we're going up by two. So we do the bottom over the top, 150 divided by two, which is 75. So this means each time I'm going up 75. So if I go backwards in my chart to get to zero, what am I doing? I'm not going up 75, but I'm going back 75. So 375 minus 75 is 300, which is your y-intercept. Mm -hmm. Again, the charts are the hardest, so it's about to get really easy. Okay, it's about to get really easy. Mm -mm. Y equals, what's your slope? 75X, and what did we start with? A positive 300. Mm -hmm. For next now, next equals now. Our slope was a positive 75, and we started at 300. Are you checking chat? Yeah, I don't understand the finding. I'm trying to figure out what they're talking about. I said they're saying they're wrong. Okay. All right, using the graph to write a cursive recursive form. How do we how do we start? Where do we start right here? Remember, we're just finding our equation first. So where do we start? Uh-huh. So that's your B. And then need to find my M or my rise over run when I'm talking about a, a table, I mean a graph. Mm -hmm. And is it positive or negative? So that simplifies down to a positive one. Okay, so your y equals one x 
plus zero, mm -hmm. or it's just gonna be X. It doesn't matter. This is the one that you need for next now though, okay? So next equals now. What was my slope? A positive one. Where did we start? That's all you do. So you should already know how to write your equation from a graph. The new thing is the next now. All right, so on number two, your y intercept or your b is at what? Three. Three. Find perfect points. It doesn't matter which ones you pick. This one is also going to be a rise one, run one. And it's positive because the graph is going up. Be careful on that. Make sure you know it's positive or negative. So our equation is 1x plus 3. Is that a positive 3? Yeah, All right, next equals now. Our slope was a positive 1. And we started at three. All right. It says the sequence below shows the number of trees a nursery plants each year. Write a recursive form that can be used to determine the number of trees the nursery will plant. Okay, here's what you need to realize. If I make this into a chart, it's gonna look like this, okay? This is one question that's missed on the benchmark in the final exam. You get it right, but you start at the wrong spot, okay? So remember, we have to find our y-intercept. This chart does not show our y-intercept, all right? Say what? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what's happening each time? On the top, we're doing plus one. So it says write a recursive form. Next equals now. Each time it's doing what? Adding four. But we don't have our start, so we need to go backwards in our chart. And we subtract four, which is what? One. This number is what we're looking for, not the zero. Start at one. Because y'all forget to do this and you use five as your start. Mm -hmm. You just gotta be careful. All right, look at your next one. It says there were originally four trees in the orchard. So that's your start. So in our chart, our start is four. Each year, the owner planted the same number of trees. In the 29th year, there were 700, 178 trees, sorry, in the orchard. So the two things we need are our slope and our y-intercept. We already have our y-intercept. So remember our slope is your change in y over your change in x. Here's your change in y. How do I get from 4 to 178? You can. 178. 178 minus 4 is... 174. And then how do I get from zero to 29? Plus 29. So then 174 divided by 29 is six. That's my slope. It says write a recursive. Next equals now. How did it change? 
Where's your soap? A positive six, right? Start out. How many did we have in the orchard to start with? Four. Flip to the next one. This is the easy part. Your first like eight on your homework look like this. Yeah, literally, like your first eight on your homework look like this. Okay. So write a recursive or write an equation. So y equals, we're going to write a next now. You use the numbers in the same order. So what's the first number that you see? Your slope is a positive five, so plus five. Start out and then make sure you use a negative three. That's it, y'all, that's it. So this is the beginning of your homework right here. This is exactly what the beginning looks like. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Next equals now, a minus two, start out, negative five. <laughs> number three next equals now what am I going to do plus nine. plus nine start out perfect negative seven and then number four do your notes next equals now minus four Start at positive five. And then on five, six, seven, and eight, you're writing the equation. It's literally the same thing. Mm -hmm. Y equals 3x and a positive 25. That's it. Negative 5x minus 4. Negative 4. Yep. Perfect. Number seven, y equals? Negative 5x and a positive 13. And then the last one, y equals and plus 0. But if it's multiple choice, it may just have 250x and not the plus 0. We're going to go back and do the prediction ones. All right. Any questions? So I think I almost am 100% certain that the first eight look like this on your homework. So it's going to take you how long? Like three seconds. Like it's going to be this quick. The rest deal with your charts. It asks you about your slope, your y-intercept. It asks you to write recursives and equations. So we're going to go back. To the very first page, very first page of this. And at the bottom, the chart. It says, use your equation, predict the population in 2016. 2016. So our equation looks like this. You need to follow my rules right here, okay? If we look back at our chart, Y was the population. X was the year. What did it give you in this problem? A population or a year? The year. So that's what we're doing. We're plugging in the year. The year goes into X. And then you literally put it into your calculator. So one fourth. 2016 plus 8.2 gives us 512.2. So what happens is you plug it into the wrong spot. So it helps if you write out what each one means, okay? So Y was the population and that came from the chart. Y was the population, X was the year. Okay, we're gonna go to the next chart and predict it. Everybody got this one? You're okay. All right, so the next chart talked about the beta club. Our equation 
was y equals 3 fourths x. You can put the plus zero if you want to, it doesn't matter. Y was the total sales or the money. X was the number of throws. What did they give us in the problem? What did they give us in the problem? 100 what? Throw. So we're plugging it in for X. So we're going to do Y equals 3 fourths times 100. If you want to put the plus zero, that's fine. 3 fourths times 100 is 75. You can. You can. Some people can, some people can, no worries. All right, so now example three, you're gonna see where you plug into the Y as well. So everything we've had is X's and that's the easy one and everybody usually does really well on that. It's when we plug in for the Y that people mess up, okay? So let's look at this one. Remember this is X and this is Y. This one says, assuming that 1999 is year zero. So it says change this to zero. What year would 2000 be? How do you get from 1999 to 2000? Add what? One. So if I'm at zero, what's the next one going to be? One. What's 2001 going to be? 2002. So it's really just one more year. 2003 is four. 2004 is five. So what would be 2012? It would just be not 2013, but 13, okay? So our equation is right here. Y was the number of whales. X is the year. We said in year 2012, but we changed it to 13 or in the 13th year. So we're gonna plug that in for X. So we get Y equals negative 150, instead of 2012, we're plugging in 13 plus 7,700. That's going straight in your calculator. William, you need to pick your head up and take notes, please. Negative 150 times 13 plus 7,700 gives us a prediction of 5,750 whales. Okay, so that is the same thing that we've been doing. The only difference is we had to change that. Your final exam will do that to you. Okay, they'll make you change it. All right, in what year, is asking for the year, will the whales be half of the original amount? What was the original amount of whales? What did we start with? 7,700. So 7,700 was the original. We won't have, we get 38.50. Nope, because what did it ask? In what year? Mm -hmm. So we have Y equals negative 150X plus 7,700. Y was the number of whales. X is the year, 3850 mm -hmm. is a number of whales. And then we just solve like normal. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. So again, this time we plugged in for the number of whales, which was Y. We're solving for X, what's on the same side, but not with it. So we do the opposite and subtract 7,700. Mm -hmm. You get a negative 3850. I'm going to write it over here. And these canceled out, so we're just left with negative 150. Mm -hmm. This is the question that everybody misses when you have to solve for x. Divide by negative 150. And you can do math in or in or if you want to, that's fine. 
which again was 25.67. But what did it ask? So this tells you how many years have passed. Does everybody understand that? 25 years have passed. So what year did we start with? Mm, what year did we start with? Look in your chart. 1999. We're going to add 25 years and we get 2024. Mm -mm. Okay. So that's what another place people get messed up. They get the 2567, but they don't change it to a year. Okay, so be ready for that. All right. I think that is all our notes. All right. Let me tell you how tomorrow is going to work. I'm going to stop sharing and stop recording. No, I'm not going to stop recording. Uh, so tomorrow, if you guys look, there's another set of notes right behind that. It is everything that we've already done. Okay. Everything that we've already done. There is a video that will be posted so that you can go through your notes and then there's an assignment for you. Okay. So there's not a live Zoom, but there is a recorded Zoom that you need to watch. Everybody got it. I don't care when you watch it, okay? You just make sure you do it tomorrow and turn in your assignment. Um, go ahead and stop recording.